G'day guys, welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm Sampy, I'm uh, on holiday down south uh, from Geraldton, so we're in the Geograph Wine region and I've called into Oakway Estate to visit Rear and Wayne and uh, we're going to uh, try their pizza that they make on site here and as well as their lovely little platter and the 2011, I'll squeeze in here Dale, the uh, Reserve Shiraz. That's right, Correct. isn't it? Yep. All right. So thanks for having me uh, over, guys. Really oh, appreciate welcome. that. Thank you for calling in. And uh, yeah, let's have a bit of a crack at this thing. So, what can you tell us about um, this wine? Come from the vineyard behind us, or has, yeah, I don't know whether you can see the vineyard, but uh, just behind these big trees is where our Shiraz block is. So um, this this particular year was quite a uh, good year for growing uh, grapes so it's produced a um, medium bodied but uh, very fruit driven Shiraz so lots of spices uh, and lots of berry characteristics coming through and um, French oak treatment which is uh, subtle but not over overbearing. Right okay well let's have a little bit of a looky at it. Now I've taken we tried your uh, 07 at the uh, tasting table there, and yep. we were talking about how that one was quite clearly a, a cool climate uh, dress. So uh, this one's going to be a bit warmer, you think? This one's a little bit warmer. It's got uh, slightly higher in um, alcohol, um, and that's purely because um, I actually held my breath on when we were um, about to pick it. So we picked it a little bit later than, uh, than normal, um, and also from memory that was a warmer year. So. Uh, sugar levels were up, but um, I, I pick by taste. Uh, Rhea picks by uh, the technical uh, science. Science. science that's it. So um, yeah, I, as I said, I held my breath. And you won. I know I won. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, Stuart has done an amazing job. On, um, it's, it's not uh, hot because it's higher in alcohol. It doesn't have that hotness from the, uh, the alcohol. But uh, yeah. It, will, it looks like it's got some uh, a bit of alcohol level in there because those rips or those legs are uh, yep. running down nice and clean and pretty heavy. So, geez, I'd say that's got to be at least fifteen percent. Am I anywhere near yep. close with that? Yeah, fifteen point three. Point three. <laughs> I'll take oh. that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks it looks really inviting. It's got that um, nice. Well, it's it's sort of a combination between that. Uh, Small producer sort of what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's, it's sort of it, it, it's not super super. It's definitely bright and uh, appealing, but it's got that depth and earthiness as well that you find yeah. in small sort the of small producers. Batch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, small batch, which is what we are. I mean, the whole vineyard is uh, five acres or two point five, roughly two point five hectares. So we're not huge. Ooh, okay. Um, and in that, we've got eight different varieties. So. I actually didn't realise it was quite so small because looking at this wonderful this year you got here, it looks like, well, this is yours. And it's, <laughs> but then this of course, small little packs, that's yeah, impressive it's getting so much out of that. About mm. three and a half thousand bonds. And you, you've got quite a few varieties too, haven't you? How many, what else do we cover? Yeah, we've way? got Chardonnay, uh, Musket of Pity Grounds, uh, Merlot with Shiraz. Um, we've also got uh, Sauvignon Blanc and uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. And we're soon to have a couple of other varieties that we really can't tell you about just at the moment. <laughs> is it, is, was that Moscato one of those? Is, uh, oh, the Moscato Pretty Grounds goes Moscato. into the Moscato, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we make a um, lower alcohol, a little bit of spritz, um, sweeter style wine, which is very popular. But most of our wines are um, a dry style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've just been through having a taste of just about everything, and uh, yeah, the Moscato is quite sweet. You're starting to be quite nice with a uh, curry. It is, it's yeah. I, uh, I've actually pa paired it with a, a Madras curry, so the Madras is a hot. Um, dry style curry and with the uh, sweet but um, drier finish of the Moscato, um, it's just an amazing pairing. I've also tried it with a um, chocolate mousse as well, so that's pretty uh, pretty amazing. It's almost like a bit of a Turkish delight. Oh, well, me and my mates, we go to an Indian restaurant once every couple of weeks, so I'm off to grab a bottle of that to uh, try, <laughs> try out and uh, see if it actually works. All right, let's have a quick taste of this and uh, look at this food. I can't wait to crack into that. Mm, that's nice. You, you, 
the same French oak, so it's got that slight sort of what would what would look like vanilla, vanilla, yeah. and um, a little bit of um, high viscosity. Um, so with Chardonnay, you can say it's a buttery characteristic, but uh, yeah, vanilla uh, adds a little bit of um, firmness, I think. Does that affect the mouth feel at all? Because it has sort of got that creamy Chardonnay mouth feel, isn't it? It's just really... Yeah. yeah. Well, it's additional tannins uh, from the oak as well as the tannins from the actual fruit itself. But um, it can actually um, get a quite a big berry hit still coming through, even though the oak is underneath and quite, quite subtle. Yeah, and it just feels like it's rolling on for ages too. I can feel that taste is just going to sit there for a good yeah, it lingers. 10 minutes, I reckon. Mm. It's just layered all over the tongue. Mm. It's really, really good. Uh, look, I think we should be wrapping this up. So uh, people, you know, the shorter the show, the more people are going to watch it. So uh, yeah. get down. Oh, hang on, we've got a few corrections and omissions, haven't we? Because we did an <laughs> Oakway Estate review not so long ago, and uh, our whip cracker got some facts wrong. Now, she said you were a three-generation vineyard. That's not quite right, is it? No, the uh, vineyard was established in 1997, So, um, but we had three generations of the one family helping. So my father, um, obviously Rhea and myself and our kids, uh, we all put to work and established the vineyard uh, behind us. So that's the three generations toiling together to make the vineyards of um, Oakway Estate. And um, the Merlot on the website is our two, 2007, and that retails for $18. And the, um, the one we tasted, that was a bit more tasted, expensive though. A little bit more expensive, purely because of the notoriety. Yes, <laughs> and that was the next. <laughs> well, if you, if you actually see that episode, you can see our reactions when we found out it was, well, when we thought it was $18 a bottle, we all jaws dropped. But it's, like I say, it's not that much it's more It's not expensive. that much more. It's $25 a bottle. Um, once again, that's and it was still worth, still worth an 11 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that no, was very, very nice and easy worth the $25. And, uh, so what website are we paying for uh, this Shiraz? This, this Shiraz at the moment is also retailing at uh, $25 yep. a bottle. Yeah. Well, as once again, I'll reiterate what I said on the um, on that same Oakway Estate episode. The Geograph Wine region is highly underrated. So, uh, well, not underrated, <clears throat> not quite as well known. So, uh, there's a lot of opportunity to pick up some really, really tasty wine at a very, very competitive price down here, isn't it? That's, that's correct. And you're also quite diverse. Like, I like, not necessarily you guys, but around in Geograph, there's a lot of Spanish and Italian sort of um, yeah, there's a lot experimentation, of experimentation going on. Yes. That's exactly right, yeah. Um, people are trying to get that point of difference, yep. I guess, and also um, picking some very interesting uh, grapes to do that. So, yeah, it's it's well worth a Sunday drive from Perth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, we're going to have a bit more of a hunt around and see what other wineries we can uh, go bang on the door. And Well, you've got that seller map, so... Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Come down here, they've got a nice little seller map. They can show you, actually show you where to find some of the better wineries in the region if you come down to Oakway and... Have a taste and try this pizza. So, uh, Dale, you can put down that camera. We're going to uh, get into this food. Till next time, this has been Bogan's Guide to Wine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. Get bon it in you. See ya. Bon appetit. <laughs>